Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you today? Hi. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Did you have a, a nice week? Well, a nice day? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Well, we are going to wait for one minute, right? And then we start our day number five. We are beginning the, well, we are finishing the first week, right? Day number five. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Claudia. How are you? I'm sick, teacher. Oh, ¿qué pasó? The flu. Yes. Ay, qué triste. Cuéntame. <coughs> es pecoso, sí que. Bien feo porque cuesta que se vaya. A mí me empezó el malestar justo cuando regresé a las vacaciones. Hello, Miss. Hello. Eh, eh, teacher, fíjese que ahorita voy manejando y no he llegado todavía a la casa. Por si pasa lista y no le se me va la señal, aquí estoy. <risa> ah, vaya, ok, Cecilia. Gracias. Bueno. Ok, bueno. Let's see, we are nine now. We are ready, right? Great. <laughs> okay, bueno, let's check the attendance. Yeah, that my camera tiene Teresa. Uh, let's check the attendance of the day. Fíjense, <coughs> estuve ayer recogiendo notas de plataforma y tengo todavía un par por allí que me les falta un poquito y tengo uno que no ha empezado, uno. Y qué bueno que solamente es uno, yo espero que... Hoy se me ponga al día, ¿verdad? Para estar ya <coughs> como tenemos que ir terminando eh, plataforma número unidad número uno. ¿verdad? Porque eso es lo que tiene que estar terminando ya. <coughs> ok, bueno. Tell me present as I... Good evening, Miss. Hello, good evening. Vamos a ver, Carlos Alfredo. Present, chair. Nice, Carlos. Y Cecilia. Sí. Cecilia. Clarixa. Claudia. Ivonne. Present teacher. Yes. Daniel. Present teacher. Great, great. Erika Joana. Present teacher. Yes. Isaías. <coughs> Isaías. No. Iván del Cid. Ivette Elvira. Y vete el vida. Present teacher. Eh, Jonathan. Present teacher. Jorge Alberto. Jorge. Jonathan. Hoy se me pone al día, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ok. Eh, Juan Antonio. 
Juan. No está Juan. Karen Leticia. Karen. Luis Enrique. Present, Luis. Manuel Antonio. Present, Tisha. Rosibel. Present, Tisha. Sandra Elizabeth. Sandra, no quiero. Vivi Estela. No sé. Silvia Inés. No. Ok, vamos a ver si alguien más se conectó después de que lo llamé. La Ixa, Isaías, Iván, Jorge, Juan Antonio, Karen, Jorge, Jorge. Juan. 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 Karen, Sandra, Silvia, Estela, Silvia Inés. Bueno, ok. Ahí estamos ya. Sí. I'm sharing the screen. This is our class number five, right? Class number five. And uh, today we are covering the vocabulary. Vocabulary practice. Okay. <laughs> One week, unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. Time is really flying. Imagine one week in this new course already. So soon we will be saying goodbye again in another course, right? Okay, vamos a ver. Eh, what is the topic for today's class? What's the topic? Uh -huh. What's the topic? Let's have it. Let's have it. Check. Vocabulary practice. Vocabulary practice, right? Okay, if this is the the end of the unit and practically in the review of the vocabulary studied in class, right? And we're going to also do a little review of the structure. And check the objective. Participants will be able to talk about inventory and manufacturing. Inventory and manufacturing, that's the, that's the, the objective, right? Okay. Well, remember yesterday we were talking about it should and shouldn't, and we said that we use should and shouldn't to give advice, right? To give advice or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. If we think something is right, we use should. If we think something is wrong, we use shouldn't, right? You should means I think it is a good idea for you to do it. You're not giving an order, you're just giving a suggestion, right? And you shouldn't means I think it is a bad idea for you to do it. So what I think, I think it is a bad idea for you. Yes? Should is used to express the opinion of a speaker and often follows 
I think or I don't think. So you can say, well, I think you should do this. Oh, I don't think you should go to the party, right? I don't think you should go to the party at night if you are sick. I don't think you should drink too much soda. Oh, I think you shouldn't drink too much soda. So you can, you can use I, I think or I don't think with both, with positive or with negative. Right, so it doesn't matter. But you're telling people what you think. Yeah. Well, it's expressing your opinion, right? When you use you think, and also give a suggestion for what you think it's a good or a bad idea to do. <clears throat> now, remember, should is a model. And models follow some rules. Look at the rules that they follow, number one. Do not take any endings like S. So if I'm going to use a model, it doesn't matter if I'm using he or she. I'm not going to you take or to add S to the verb, or I'm not going to add ED to the verb, right? For example, if you say, she should go. I don't say she should go or she should play the, uh -uh, because we you should with the verb in the base form. Y tampoco decimos should, ni shouldn't, because the models don't have a past, okay? So we will use the present for using the new. So you have to be very careful with that. If I'm, I'm going to use the model, I will say, you should go, should, and then the verb that is following uh, the model will be in the base form. You should go to, to the office, right? You should go to the doctor. You should study hard. You should pay more attention, yes? You should relax a little bit more. Oh, you shouldn't work so hard. That, remember, should is followed by the verb in the ing form. Never followed by s or never followed by a verb in the past. And also, you never add s or ed to the verb. Right, never. Another situation with a uh, models is that modal verbs are followed by the base form of the verb. Another verb should, uh, if you use another verb, right? You say you should go, you should be. Remember the verb to be, la forma base del verbo to be es be, right? Then you say you should be quiet. You should be on time. You should be happy, right? So I'm going to use <clears throat> be. Or I'm going to use any verb in the base form. It doesn't matter if you are using he or she. Remember, she should go. She should go to the doctor. She should take a pill. She should arrive work early, right? She should stay on time for the meeting. So I'm going to you should, and the verb in the base form, as I was saying before. Also, modal verbs make questions by inverting the order, right? So if I was saying she should go, if I make the question, I will say, should she go? Should she stay late? Should she play outside? Should I come tomorrow? Should they speak aloud? Right? So I'm going to invert the form of the verb. So remember, 
in the case of should, or when you're using any modal, we cannot say that she should, because we do not use the auxiliary we should. El should, como es un modal, no es un verbo, es un modal verbo. Él se vale por sí solo, no necesita auxiliar, right? So the only way, the only thing I do is that I, that I change the order. Instead of saying you should go, should you go, right? If you're making a question. <coughs> I don't know if you have any questions over there. Questions? No questions. No? No, 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 Miss. No, teacher. Okay. Should is most commonly used for making cake. For making what? Suggestions. Suggestions and and Recommendation. Recommendation. Okay. So you say you should try the new Vietnamese restaurant. No le estoy obligando. No le estoy prohibiendo. Le estoy sugiriendo. Right? You should, you should try the new Vietnamese restaurant. What should you do? You should go to the doctor. You should leave now. So we don't miss the train, right? We should miss, or we should leave now. We should leave now. She shouldn't wash white clothes with brightly colored clothes. Shouldn't. The city should fix the portal holes, right? Should. If you notice, we use should, we use the verb, with the other verb, as we were saying before, in the base form. It doesn't matter if should is used in affirmative or in negative. Okay? That's just making a review of the previous, of the last unit we were studying yesterday. Now, um, look at these questions. Uh, we were saying that when we make a question using should, we invert the subject and the model. So instead of saying we should bring anything, we say, should we bring anything? Should I assign, should I sign up for a gym membership? When should I submit my assignment? Where should we go for the next vacation? Yes, you are in this case, what you're doing is asking for advice. That's what you're doing, right? With this structure, you're asking for advice. But the only thing is invert the order. The order. In, instead of so, subject model, you say model subject. Any question here about the questions? No? No questions? No, teacher. Easy, verdad? Easy? Sí. No. Very. <laughs> no. Not easy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Con la práctica vamos a ir aprendiendo más. ¿Ah? Con la práctica la vamos a entender más. Es que no es nada complicado, solo es el orden, ¿verdad? Sí, es. Ok, vamos a ver. I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you something for you to do. And then uh, you share with me. I should. <laughs> Remember, talking about modal verbs. So what you're going to do here is go and do the exercises. Remember, when we use should and shouldn't, in this case, we're using only, 
only to give advice. We can use it also for some other uh, things, but right now what you're going to worry is about advice only. But I'm going to send you a drink and a drink. Bueno, le quedan. I'm going to send you a link for you to do it, right? Vamos a ver, I'm going to paste it here. ¿Dónde está el chat? Go over, try to enter the link. Yeah. I just want to be sure that I'm recording. That uh, means, Chelsea. sorry, uh, could you uh, send the link to the WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp group, please? Thank you. No tengo abierto WhatsApp. Que Cardi, Enrique, entonces. Okay. Choose should or shouldn't, right? To complete the exercise. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best option? Are you already working? Yes, yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Algo caliente, ¿verdad?
Nice, nice. I see some of you already finished. Great. I'm finished. Excellent. And there you see, if you feel like practicing a little bit more, oh, you can get so many, more, much more practice from there. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> O sea, quienes teacher en esas oraciones tienen que ir primero el sol, sur, en vez del sujeto, para mm -hmm. hacer una pregunta o solamente para, para preguntas o varía la oración de lo que uno quiera the preguntar. Question, you change the order. The First, uh -huh, the shares, no en vez, sino que eh, primero. Porque siempre uh -huh. va a estar short, ¿verdad? Siempre va a estar short. Ajá, uh -huh, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Pero no va a ir al principio. Ajá, uh -huh, you change the order. Okay, sea sí. para preguntas o sea para cualquier oración. No, no. In the question, you change the order. Question, question, only. Only for the question, for the affirmative only sentence. Only for... Affirmative oh, okay. is like the way we were practicing yesterday, right? <inaudible> but for the question, you, you invert. So, the is para an affirmative question? In esos casos, teacher. Perdón, no le entiendo la pregunta, Clarissa. Ah, no, o sea, y en esas oraciones, como se le, el verbo, el sujeto va a ir después, ¿verdad? Es Pero como, en toda, ser, como en toda pregunta. Y tiene que ser para, para oraciones Clarixa. positivas. Clarissa, como Ajá. en toda pregunta, Ajá. como en toda pregunta, el sujeto no va al principio en una pregunta. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Es como ¿Sí? una pregunta, siempre el mismo, el, el orden cambia, nunca va a ser un igual el orden a seguir en una oración que en una pregunta. El sujeto para una pregunta no va al principio. Uh -huh. Siempre cambia. Ok, vamos a ver. Nice. Nice, nice. I see many of you already finished. Right. One. Let's go. Let's go. Now it's time that we move to the conversation that we have today. Listen, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was your inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three, four this year. And the cost is three, oh, $30 per unit. Mm, that's great. Okay, one more time. Now you repeat after me. We were very busy yesterday. We were very very busy yesterday. Busy, 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 busy. We were very we very busy yesterday. We were very busy yesterday. We were very busy. We were very busy. We were very busy. Very busy yesterday. 
we had a lot of customers. 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 We did. We did. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. I, I think, think we need to stock our, our inventory. inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. Yes, yes we, we don't, don't have, have enough, enough quantity, quantity of chocolate, of chocolate caramel. caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What was, was, what was, what was our inventory turnover for chocolate, turn caramel. For chocolate caramel? What about the cost? What about the what cost? About the cost? Right now it's three for this year. Right, right now, now it's three for, for three this, year. this year. And the cost is thirty dollars per unit. And, and the cost, cost is thirty dollars per unit. unit. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Okay, one more time. We were very busy okay. yesterday. We were very busy yesterday. We were busy very yesterday. Busy. Busy. Busy yesterday. We were very busy yesterday. We were very busy yesterday. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We, we, were, we had we a lot of customers. We did. We did. We did. We did. We did. I think we, we need did. to stock our inventory. I, I, I think, think we need to stock our, our inventory. inventory. Yes. We don't yes. have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. We don't have, yes, don't we don't have, have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What was, what was our inventory for chocolate caramel? For chocolate caramel. What about the cost? 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 Right now, it's three per this year. Right, right now, right now, now it's for this three year. for this year. For this year. And the cost is $30. And the cost is $30 per year. And the cost is $30 per unit. Mm -hmm. Unit. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. 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 That's green, dance green. Great. Great. That's great. That's great. Great. That's great. Great. That's great. Great, Clarice. Great. Great. Perdón. Great. That's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. And now Perdón. look at this. Excuse me. Well, you're going to go back to the conversation and I'm going to assign you something. One, check the vocabulary. I'm going to underline. You're going to go and investigate the meaning of these words. Customers, stock, inventory. <coughs> inventory turnover. Cost. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, five words. As you go to your, to your groups, check the words that you're going to investigate, right? Customers, stock, inventory, inventory turnover, and cost. You're going to go to your groups, practice the conversation, and check the vocabulary, okay? I'm going to make four groups. So you take turns practicing with your, with the partners in the group, and then you investigate. investigate the there you go. Go, go, go. You have, um, there will be one group of 
Okay. Okay. Well, let's go. Go, go, go. Practice and check. Jorge Alberto sigue oyente. Jorge. Jorge, Jorge, Jorge. Yeah, teacher. Sorry. This is a working. Mm, va. Estelita, ahí se pone el nombre completo cuando salga. Acá estoy, acá estoy, teacher. Solo puedo escuchar, pero no lo pueden ver porque no ando mucho para en el teléfono. Vaya, mire, cuando llegue a su casita se pone el nombre completo. Vaya, de acuerdo. Y Jonathan también, cuando llegue a su casa, pero me que va manejando, ¿verdad, Jonathan? Sí. Jonathan. Cecilia, cuando llegue a su casita se me pone el nombre completo. Hola. Estoy en la casa. ¿Te llego a la casa? Sí, ya, hace rato. Ah, ay, qué chivo, bello. Ahora, aquí en el camino todavía. Ah, pues ahí se pone el nombre completo, oye. No lo tengo. Ya, se lo dice Cecilia Hernández. Ay, sabe por qué. Vaya, Cecilia vaya. Maricela, no, ¿cuál es el otro nombre? <ríe> Cecilia del Carmen. Cecilia del Carmen. Ay, yo lo voy a cambiar el nombre, vaya. No me lo ponen completo, lo voy a cambiar yo. Eso es lo que ahorita me voy a... a me estoy conectando de la compu. Bien, no cuando se termine Entonces... de conectar de la compu, no problema. Jonathan, cuando llegue a casita, ahí se pone el nombre completo también, oye. Así para que cuando recojan la lista ya los recojan completos. Bye. Vámonos. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. No sé quiénes eh, me van a quedar fuera porque se me había desaparecido un par. Bueno. <coughs> ahí está. Bye, Isaías. Ahí lo mandé ya. Ok. Let's join a group, chicos. Go ahead. Remember, practice the conversation and check the vocabulary. Okay, Rosy, vamos, Rosy. Ya lo mando a un grupo, Carlos. Solo voy a ver cuál me queda pobre, oye, para mandarlo a eso. Me tocó que reiniciar el, el, ¿Mm? la computadora que me sal, tuve problemas con el internet. ¿Verdad que lo sacó? Sí. Un ratito. Okay. Ya lo vamos a, a mandar a un grupo. Solo quiero ver qué grupo es el que me queda. Porque a veces me queda uno bien pobre. Miss, me, ya me conecté de la compu. Eh, no sé si me puede... Ah, vaya. vaya, vaya. Porque me voy a salir del teléfono. Okay. Vaya... Ahí está. Va, ahí los mandé ya uno a cada grupo. Try to join. Grupo 12, sí. Nice. Cheque si se puede unir al 12, Cecilia. Si no la muevo, regreso. Lo logra ver. Hola, me quedo congelada. Cheque, cheque. Ah, va, muy bien. For, for example, in the number three, the, pray, the price pay to get something. Uh, in this case, is the cost. And ¿Qué están haciendo ustedes? ¿Es no de exercise tú o, o practice de conversación? Practice the conversation ah, and check the vocabulary. Let's see. 
Sorry. El vocabulario Sorry. que les que les subrayé es el que tienen que investigar. Ah, no me hagan trampa, no se me vayan al dos todavía. Sorry, it's my mistake. Uh, well. <laughs> Entonces, okay. practiquemos. Yes. Ok. ¿Y quién más está ahí con ustedes? Eh, ¿Sandra? Eh, Yvette. Eh, Carlos, Isaías. Y... Carlos Alfredo, Yvette yes. e Isaías Santana. Vaya, Isaías y Carlos, necesito que hablen porque a Yvette no me la estén hablando, haciendo hablar. Oye. Ok. Porque yo sé lo que es estar hablando así, duele tanto. Yes. Sí. Duele, duele. Si es que a Ivette la vamos a dejar oyendo. Bueno. Oh, Carlos, ¿no? ¿Te sí. de más salida, sí. Ivette? Puede poner la pantalla. Sí. Está corta. Sí, porque yo, como me sí. salí de donde estaba, me salí de. Eh, en libre estoy tomando. Ah, ah muy, bien. Sí. muy bien. Sí, sí, fue a pasar consulta, estoy incapacitada. Mm. Sí, pero el tema salía con pimienta gorda bien aquí mañana. Porque la pimienta gorda es antiinflamatoria. Sí, sí, es buena. Sí, estoy tomando té así porque es lo que ayuda a que me baje uno bastante. Sí, ayuda más que las otras cosas. Sí, sí. Mi hija sí, sí. ya es el tercero. <risa> Pero yo mucho paso hablando. De modo que ese es mi trabajo, hablar. No way, ni modo. Pues, vaya, chicos, practice the conversation with Sandra. No sé de quién anda aquí. Isaías, Carlos. Voy a abrir el manual para leer la conversación porque como no hay pantalla, ¿verdad? Aquí no sé si Sandra puede compartir pantalla. Wait. necesitaría descargar el, el libro en mi teléfono y lo tengo en mi en mi ¿cómo se llama? ¿y usted está conectada en la compu o en el teléfono? ¿sabes? no, en mi teléfono teacher ah, y el libro lo tengo aparte ah, ok mm. teacher, ¿y cómo se hace para compartir pantalla? porque yo tengo un libro abierto en la computadora no hay otro Ay. Ay, dele, este, ahí le aparece una flechita verde. Ivette dice ah, que Ivette lo compartió. Dice uh, Sherry. Sí. Carlos, Ivette lo compartió. Ok, ok, ya, ya, ya. Thank you. Okay. Thank Pero you, es bueno yeah. que todos aprendan a compartir porque en cualquier okay. momento si alguien más no puede compartir. Y donde dice Sherry Donde Spring. dice Sharing Spring, exactly. Okay. Ahí le da clic y ya busca la pantalla que quiere compartir, la escoge y ya. Okay. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Um, you start, Carlos, on I. Okay. And we are very fast. Yes, sir. Vaya, Carlos, you begin. Again. Okay. We were very bad. Yesterday we had those customers. Busy. 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 Yesterday we had uh, a low customer. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, I agree to know. 
Yes. We don't have no quantity of chocolate caramel. Was was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? Sigue, Clarice. Ah, perdón. I was about the goals. Right now, it's three for this year, and the cost is $30 per unit. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Ahora That's que great. Sí, Uh -huh. Betty. Hello. Si quiere, él va a practicar otra vez. Ah, otra ya termina vez. con ustedes. Sí. Ok. ¿Y qué se hizo? Ya estamos. <ríe> bueno, empiezo yo. Ok. <ríe> Me sería. We were very busy yesterday. Uh, we had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Uh, yes, we don't have enough quantity uh, of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory? Teacher, esta palabra, ¿cómo es? Turnover. Turnover. Turn. Turnover. Mm -hmm. For chocolate caramel. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, to know for chocolate caramel. caramel. What about the cost? Uh, right now it is uh, thirty for this year, and the cost is the thirty per unit. That's great. Inicio yo ahora. Okay. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot, a lot of customers. We did, I did need uh, to start uh, our inventory. Yes, we don't have enjoy, enjoy it or no teacher. We don't have enough. 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 Enough quantity enough of quantity of shot. Enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory uh, to over uh, for chocolate caramel? Uh, what about the goals? Right now, it's three for the year. And the uh, cost is $30 per unit. That's correct. Y con Claritza. Sí, con Claritza. Claritza. Sí. Este, no sé si empiezo yo. Bye. We were very busy, busy yesterday. Busy yesterday. We have a lot of customer. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? The right now is stream for this year as the cost is $0 per unit. That's great. Inicio yo. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. Uh, right now, it is three for this year and the cost is 30 per unit. That's right. Okay, cambio de rol. We were very busy yesterday. We have a lot of customers. Uh, we did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes. We don't have enough quantity 
of chocolate caramel. Uh, what was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? <laughs> what about the cost? Right now, it's three for this year, and the cost is $30 per unit. Uh, that's great. I am Claudia and Ivan. Para que practiquen. Okay. Empiezo yo, Iván. Sí, claro. <laughs> we were very busy <laughs> yesterday. We had a lot of customers. Where did I really get new to stop our inventory? <laughs> yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What were our inventory to run for chocolate caramel? What would they cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is 30 per unit. Digraph. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We were very busy yesterday. We have a lot of customers. We did, I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have, I know, esta no sé si es como se pronuncia. Enough. Um, enough, enough water enough. of chocolate caramel. We don't have enough. Enough. Enough chocolate caramel. What okay. was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three and four D years year and the cost is sorry per unit. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Okay, now check check the vocabulary that is new for you. I underline I underline a couple of words like inventory turnover, inventory cost. Um, hi hi. Hi, hi, hello. Hi, teacher. I, hi, don't teacher. Hear, I don't hear you practicing here. We finished practice. Did you check the vocabulary? Hola. Hola, hola. Estamos por ahí. Yes, sir. A ver, did you check el vocabulario que les subrayé en la conversación? ¿Ya lo investigaron? No, eso no, solo practicamos, teacher. Vaya, investiguen el vocabulario que les subrayé en la conversación. Está bien. Ahí les subrayé cinco palabras en la conversación para que ustedes busquen. Que no era quantity, el cost, el stock, dichos. Era ¿verdad? cost, inventory, in, inventory turnover. Ajá, quantity. Y no. Yes, teacher. Había este. Consumer y distant. Stock, customer, ser el otro. Ajá, cabal. Ajá, eh, existe eh, el otro era inventory que es inventario inventory to home to Vaya, pero es, pero pero yo quiero una, una definition no translation ah, ah, okay. definition que no era inventory ejemplo, a complement listing of merchandise of or stock on hand ok El cost is the price paid to get something. Okay. El inventory turnover, ¿verdad? Sí, turnover. Turnover, mm -hmm. the number of items a company shelves 
is inventory a year? Okay. The chapter inventory hover is in the big, in, uh, in the big, uh, volume, eh? of course. What's the it, inventory, it, inventory well, for me is the the uh, sorry, venda, uh, the vendors. Pero the the inventory in English. In English, in English ah, what is the inventory but, and what is the inventory turnover? Uh -huh, so yeah. Hmm? Sería to know the number of times or companies of the inventor uh, year or in the year, I mean, sería to live Porque a veces nosotros lo hacemos al día. Sería the number of times companies of the inventor, inventory to know that in the everyday. And what is the inventory? And the cost, cost. Is it the cost? No, the inventory. Uh -huh. Inventory to know that. No, the inventory. Ah, inventory. Inventory. The inventory is a complete list of merchandise or stuff. Or to hand. Uh -huh. So have you heard the phrase, hey, let's make the inventory, right? It's mm -hmm. especially to know the quantity of things that a company has, right? What's the exact quantity of things that they have? That's the inventory. Bueno, vámonos ya. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> okay, a ver, everybody va. No, no yet. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the words that I asked you to share or to check. Customer, what's a customer? Customer? Client. In English? The client. Client. Mm. What's the difference between customer and client? Is there a, a difference? I don't know. Hmm? Is there a difference between customer and client? It's the same, no? The customer is the person who service the in the company. Okay. Ah, that's yeah. customer service. Customer service are the people who are attending the, the customers when they need help, right? But what is the difference between a customer and a client? Is there a difference? Hmm? Or is it the same? What do you think? Um, 
Ah, teacher, teacher. The consumer visit. Consumer visit my company. Uh, my client is my my. How do you say cartel in English? The my client. O sea, es alguien que ya lo tenemos dentro de nuestra cartera de clientes. El client. Yes. Ajá. Exactly. So, you know, the, the companies can have clients and can also have customers. El customer will get to your company, probably will buy once and will leave. But the client will go to your company, will be faithful with your company, will go buy and will come back, right? So they will stay with your company, maybe not forever because nothing is forever, but that but uh, for a long time. And they will go and they will come back and they will buy in your company even if another company offers them another product, they will say no. We like this one. And they will stay with you. That's the customer. Como dice Silvia, ya está en su cartera. ¿Verdad? Ya no se va a ir con otro a menos que de verdad usted lo decepcione y, y el otro le ofrezca algo mejor. Mucho, mucho. De lo contrario, ¿no? Pero el customer ya no. Bueno, compra. Se va. Like we, when we go to the supermarket and we look for the product that is on sale and we buy one brand and another brand, we are customers. We are not clients, right? But in a company, when you go to buy just to that cost, that company, and you are always uh, paying attention to everything that company offers, then you will become a customer, right? Now, let's see um, what is the stock? Stock. Stock. Is it for, for get more products? Uh-huh. The quantity, right, of products that you may have. That's stock. For example, in, in a company, you should be sure that you have enough product in case uh, people go and ask you for that product. But uh, your, uh, your stock has to be mm, enough, but not too much. Because if you have too much, probably you will be having extra, extra or things that you will not sell or people will not want. Right, that's the stock. But it is very important to know what things you have. And that's why they say, hmm, we need to stock our inventory. Probably uh, you haven't kept anything and you don't have any idea of the inventory turnover. And when you know your inventory turnover, you can know what is the quantity of things that you need to keep. So because the, the stock is basically the things that you keep in the warehouse. So in case you need to make a big sale, you have enough. Imagine somebody gets to your company saying that they need 200 pairs of shoes. And you say, we oh, you know we only have 50. <laughs> that means that your stock is very poor and you will not cover the necessity of the client. Then that client can go with another uh, person, right? Because they will not uh, find what they need to buy with you. 
Now, what is cost? What's the cost? It's the price. <laughs> price. Uh -huh. The price? Price of product. The price of the, the price that you pay. Uh huh. Exactly. The price that you pay for the product. And in this case, what is the price of the product? What's the price? They say thirty per unit. Thirty dollars. Thirty, right? Thirty per unit. Thirty dollars. Uh huh. And what is the inventory turnover of the company? Three times a, a year. Okay. What is the inventory? Uh, what does it mean? Or what is the definition of inventory turnover? The the times that the, the company sells the inventory. Mm -hmm. So imagine okay. if, if my inventory is K, 100 items. And I sell that inventory three times a year. How many items do I sell? Make numbers. Hmm? My inventory is 100. And I sell my inventory three times. 300. 300. I sell 300. Times. Right? Yeah. Easy. Okay, now let's move to the vocabulary on the next unit because it's related to what we were talking about. Come on, ma. Okay, check. You have the words cost, inventory, turnover, stock, quantity, and inventory. Look at the words on the box or in the box and match them with the corresponding definition. Now you know the meaning, right, of each of the words. Let me know when you're ready to check.
Are you ready? No yet? Almost. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos? <ríe> Sandra, ¿qué le pasó? Un chicote. Ah, me imaginé yo. Me imaginé que un chicote del que la andaba atacando. Y ahí vienen, pero aquí nos, nos salvan los gatos. Ah, no, Porque no. los gatos, chicote que ven, chicote que persiguen. Really? I don't have pets. Ah, you need a cat. <ríe> yo me van a matar pero no me gusta lo siento <ríe> porque los gatos lo salvan a uno de todo animal que lo quiera matar sí, eso sí <ríe> sí, yo cuando la vi yo dije, ah, un chicote la está atacando <ríe> Los atrae la luz. No habían entrado, pero quizás los gatos de las vecinas no andan afuera. Y espérese que vengan los son popos de mayo. Ay. Y el puño de palomillas que se alborotan con las primeras lluvias también faltan. Sí. Sí, y esas son las, las peligrosas porque son las que hacen la polilla. Ajá. Exacto. Al menos en libros y son las que más rápido dan. Sí. Sí, sí. <coughs> ¿Cómo vamos? I think I finished. Eso. I okay. What about the others? Ready? I finished, teacher. Nice. Nice, nice. Bye. A ver, a particular amount of anything. What is it? A particular amount of anything? It's quantity. 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 Yes, that's a quantity. Mm -hmm. Ah, 
funding. A particular amount of funding. Uh, what about a complete listing of merchandise or stock on hand? Inventory. Inventory, yes. The price paid to get something? Cost. 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 Mm -hmm. The number of times a company sells its inventory a year? Inventory turnover. Ahí lo voy a abreviar porque no se me va a caber. Inventory turnover. To get more product in the inventory? Stop. Stop. Yes. Yes, stop. Tengo duda con la uno y la cinco, Miss. Mm -hmm. Quantity. Yes. Okay, ¿cuál es la duda? O sea, el concepto podría ser para invertir las, bueno, las palabras para su concepto. Por ejemplo, de stock. No. Particular amount of anything. Mm. But remember, remember the conversation. No. Remember the conversation, right? ¿Qué dice la conversation? Check. I think we need to stock our inventory. So the stock is eh, como acumular o guardar verdad more, more product in the inventory entonces yo ya no hago un inventory solo un poquito lo que pienso en en qué más qué cantidad más es la que voy a guardar en the inventory entonces ahí ya tengo que conseguir una warehouse macran, macran ¿verdad? Para guardar más invento. Esto que es como, como existencias, más o menos. La existencia. Es relativo a existencias. Exacto. Por ejemplo, vaya, eh, si hablamos de Dollar City, por ejemplo, por ejemplo ellos tienen un a big stock of products that they keep and they know what time of the year they have to take out each of those products, right? And to, the, to put or to add all those products to the different stores that they have, they need the stock that they need to have. Pero el quantity tiene que ver más con la, la cantidad. Que por tiene. eso, por eso, o sea, por eso, o sea, tengo mi mi duda que no son conceptos uh -huh. si, o sea la cantidad es como que es, ponga el concepto de las cinco o sea uh -huh. la cantidad puede ser para como para obtener más productos en el inventario uh -huh. y en el stock podría ser el stock o, sea, o existencias una cantidad particular de cualquier cosa no es que cantidad es, es una cantidad de producto entonces, cuando hablamos de, de, por eso es que la definición de, can, de quantity es la primera, porque quantity es, es cantidad y amount es un sinónimo también de quantity, también okay. es, es cantidad. ¿eh? Mientras que el stock es, es la existencia, podríamos decir que el stock es a quantity of product, ¿verdad? Pero es como el producto acumulado en el inventario. Entonces, ahí el, la palabra clave es el invento. Okay. Porque puede ser cualquier cantidad de producto que usted tenga, pero si no está acumulada o guardada en el invento, y no es stock. Sería solamente quantity. Okay. Entonces, si los dos tienen que ver con cantidades, 
pero si hablamos de una cantidad que viene a ser parte del inventario, es stock. Pero si es una cantidad de cualquier cantidad, de cualquier cosa, no importa, no guardada, esa es cantidad nada más. ¿Verdad? Por okay. eso es la, la diferencia, ¿no? Porque si esto, usted tiene razón que es una cantidad de algo, ¿verdad? Cuando hablamos de esto. Pero la diferencia entre stock y, 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 y quantity es que el stock está guardado en el inventario. O sea, está como, como un extra, digamos, en nuestro inventario para poder suplir las necesidades de la tienda. Mientras que quantity es, es cualquier cantidad, puede estar afuera, cantidad de cualquier cosa que puede estar o guardada o afuera. ¿verdad? no necesariamente como parte del inventario. Sí. Ahí la palabra clave es invento. Esa es la que nos, nos lleva a ponerle a las cinco la, la palabra o la definición para esto. Uh -huh. ¿Any other question here? No. No question. Vaya, pues. Bueno. Check. Look at the descriptions here. ¿Te acuerdan? ¿Qué hemos estado hablando? Tenemos que comer chocolate o entre hoy y mañana. <laughs> Because we have been talking a lot about chocolate and check. Uh, it says that we have uh, read the descriptions, right, of the chocolate products and complete the chart with the product. So you have here. A spicy peanut coffee, a toffee, total candies, chocolate covered caramels, and chocolate dipped uh, nugget. And you have a chart, a chart that you're going to complete with all the specifications. Remember we uh, that specifications are all the characteristics that a product may have, right? So you have the name, the code, the size, a box with six units, how many, right? The ingredients that each of the products contain, the weight, the price per unit, uh, each box with each uh, with six units, how much is each box with six units? <clears throat> so in this part, I'm going to send you to the groups. You read the... Uh, the descriptions of each of the chocolate products, and then you complete the chart, okay? <coughs> Any questions here? Questions? No. I'm going to change you, to change uh, all the groups. Teacher. Esa imagen la mandaste al cuadro al, al grupo. ¿Perdón? Eh, la imagen la va a mandar al, de, al grupo. El, la imagen um, de la tabla. ¿también? No, porque la tienen en el manual. Claro. En el manual. Ah, ok. Sí. Y ahí solamente es de ir eligiendo uno su. Como el producto sí. que uno va a utilizar. No, los que están allí. Los que están allí. Ahí están en el manual los productos. Los productos. Si los, los, los leen las descripciones, ¿verdad? Y Ajá. completan con las especificaciones de cada producto. O sea, Completamos primero, el cuadro. Ajá, cada producto. Exacto, a llenar el cuadro. Donde dice name, tienen que poner el nombre del producto y después llenan el resto de las especificaciones que ahí tienen. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Alguna otra preguntita allí? No más questions. No. Vaya, los mando con grupos grandes para que se apoyen, para que todo el mundo colabore. Oye, are you ready? Ready? Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Let's Let's go. Don't you 
Silvia, Clarissa, try to join. Perdón. Hola, hola. 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 Que hola. Puede compartir pantalla para que se les haga más fácil. ¿Quién puede compartir pantalla? No, sí, o Erika, creo. Yo no puedo. ¿Quién puede? Este. Rosy, no se le facilita, Rosy, compartir pantalla. Creo que no, teacher, pero... Porque es más fácil si pudieran compartir la pantalla, si todas van viendo lo que van escribiendo. De computadora no se puede. Sí, sí se sí. puede. Ellas, no sé si ellas están usando computadora. No, eso es independiente, Rosy. Usted puede compartir la pantalla y nosotros lo vamos a ver. Sí, no importa que sea computadora o no, teléfono. Ajá, pero no me Tienen que leer primero las descripciones, hoy. Sí, ¿a dónde está esa compartir pantalla? Ahí abajo. En la parte abajo, de abajo. Hay una flechita verde. Sí, una, una flechita verde que dice eh, share screen. Sí, creo que es. Mm -hmm. Ah, ya. Vamos a ver ahorita. Ajá, share screen. Esa es. Sí, yes. exactly. ahí está, very nice. Mm -hmm. Perdón, estoy trabajando también. No, creo, no sé si se le van a ver todas las carpetas que tengo abiertas. Sí, está bien. Ahí está. Ahí está. Es correcto. Yes. Ajá, es que así es más fácil si van leyendo ahí. Yes. Ahí se pueden turnar para leer, oye. ¿Cuántos somos? ¿Cuántos somos? Cuatro, tres, cuatro, ahorita. Cabal, uno, cada uno. Cabal. Sobre todo, Candice. Me lo manda en grupo de cuatro para que no me sientan solitos. Ah, ¿Puedo agarrar yo el tour del canal? Hay. Hay que hacer spicy peanut coffee. Vale. Our, our spicy peanut coffee is made with butter, toffee, roasted. Peanuts and cayenne. Chili pepper, spicy peanut toffee is the perfect combination of sweet, salty, spicy, and crunchy. What? Cut? The, the cut is crunchy. What? Crunchy. Seven. Seven. 
Bitcoin, 50 dólares. Dólar, dólar era, me dicho, ¿o cómo que la que tenía? Dólares. 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 Sí, dólares. Vale. Entonces, el 14 candies y box type sterling white, six pint, rye, butter, caramel, fresh rolls, bread, bacon, bar or milk, chocolate, the cut it, six. $30. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Chocolate covered caramel. Chocolate pour caramel and chocolate. Box size starting with six pieces. <clears throat> Seven dollars. Chocolate deep. No, our chocolate dipped no is made from our old fashioned no candy, the shape and contains just in just the right combination of honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Seven. It sounds delicious. <clears throat> Seven dollars. The first number is the advice. Piano to coffee, la teacher. Let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, Entonces el código sería el six bytes. No, box five, six units. Entonces aquí dice que son six bytes. Y ahí me pregunta los ingredientes. Rye, beauty, caramel, french roaster, pecans, bar or milk, chocolate. Ajá. Wait. Price per unit. Box white on price Va, entonces vamos con uh, Total Candies. Total Candies. Vaya, eh, el código de ese sería 02TC, digamos, va. O, o 2TC. ¿Cómo hacemos? 02TC también. O 02. 02TC. Sí, sí. Eh, nos estamos inventando sí. los códigos. Ok, perfecto. El, el primero es 01SPT, que son las iniciales de, de, de cada. Y sí, el extraterrestre. Grupo. Ah, correcto. Ah. Eh, eh, veamos los ingredientes. Dice. Uh, um, red, butter, fish, caramel. Fish, butter, caramel. Fresh. Uh, fish. Sí. Butter, caramel. Butter, caramel. Fresh roster. ¿Qué es pe pecans o pecans? ¿Qué es eso? Pecans. Ah, ¿Qué es, Miss? O sea, lo que pasa es que nosotros no pasamos de los de, del atado de dulce, pues ya cuando vemos volado así, <risa> nos abruma. De, no pasamos de melcocha y. Ah. Imagínense el anterior acá hablaba de chile de cayena y toda la cosa. 
Ah, si aquí, ¿Sabes cuál es el chile cayena, vea? Ah, saber, aquí nosotros, nosotros cambiamos la receta, le metimos chile chiltepe. <risa> y vamos a hacer gallo. Ajá, cabal. Butter caramel. Fresh los, roasted. Las pecas son, son semillas. Ah, ok. Ya le voy a mandar una. Nueces. Y después ah. dar un mil chocolate. Son las nueces esas que parecen nueces. cerebritos. Mm, las que se comen okay. las ardillas. Ajá. Ok, ok, ok. Perfecto. Entonces dice box, bueno, siempre seis unidades. Inventé, vaya, eh, son, eh, esta quizás podría ser más grande la caja porque son tortuguitas de, de, de caramelo. No, porque depende del tamaño que vos la querés diseñar. Vaya, como nosotros ya pensamos en una producción en masa, dejémoslo el tamaño de la caja del mismo tamaño, lo único que vamos a cambiar es el embalaje. Solo Entonces, que te trae así de pieza, va. El mismo que la otra. Prácticamente Todas. toda la presentación de, la, de los cuatro productos Traen son de seis, seis piezas. piezas. Ah, ok, es cierto, sí, sí, sí. Va, vale, entonces 10 por el mismo, 15. El mismo tamaño. Ah, sí, hombre, y solo le cambiamos el muñequito a la caja y, y no estamos... O sea, hasta vamos a ahorrar ahí esto y toda la cosa. <risa> Ya está, ¿segura ya? Sí, vaya, entonces el peso, al primero le pusimos 100 gramos, ¿cuánto le ponemos a este? Bueno, si sí, vas a hacer el mismo, misma medida. 100 gramos siempre. Mismo, 100 gramos. Misma cantidad, sí. mismo peso. Sí, va. O Ahí sea, solo que la, le vas a perder sí, la 70 centavos nada más. No, Por los sí, precios no. nomás. No más, así va. El precio cambia. <risa> yeah, no más. Sí, remember le... that depending on the ingredients. <risa> sí, es más barato. O sea, el embalaje no, no es el mismo, pero sí, aquí yo creo que con las tortuguitas de caramelo vamos a, aunque las vendamos a un precio más barato, vamos a tener más volumen de venta. Porque, a los sí, niños porque entre menos precio y el sabor que le demos. Uh, sí, el otro porque es sí, sí. para un mercado más, más mexicano, adulto. Porque... Es que el otro lo vamos a vender en hoteles, así, en la Costa no, del Sol y todo eso. Lo que pasa es que... <ríe> este lo vamos picante. a vender ahí en el centro. Es picante y no a toda la gente le gusta el picante. Ah, yes, no. Por eso vamos a ir a la playa, a esos sectores de la playa donde llega un montón de... Y vamos extranjero. a vender algo. A varios extranjeros les gusta el chile. They want to drink in alcohol. They will buy it, right? Ok. Vaya, de... <ríe> El, ter de, 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 el tercer producto sería el código podría ser 3CCC o sea, estamos hablando de que las iniciales de, del chocolate cover caramels es este es más fácil de hacerlo porque eso lo lleva, dice chocolate, chocolate puro, puro chocolate co cubierto de caramelo y, o sea, solo y, cara, y, y caramelo. Solo agarras un pedazo de caramelo ¡pum! y le pones el chocolate ahí. Sí, hombre. <risa> cachupana. De cachupana. Ajá. Sí, y el precio me parece. Está intermedio. Es más fácil de hacerlo. Y vamos a ganar más que vendiendo tortuguita. Va. Y el último que sería, eh, este me gusta a mí. Chocolate Dipped. Nugget es un nugget, definitivamente tiene que ser bueno. Eh, la base siempre, bueno, en lugar del caramelo como el anterior. Bueno, el código sería eh, CDM. Eh, for CDM. Ok, eh, el tamaño de la caja al mismo, los ingredientes serían... Eh, Eh, or y ya teníamos una duda. Ah, ya. Eh, por ejemplo, aquí en, en los productos no dice el, 
en el, bueno, sí. en el que estamos viendo ahorita, que es el primero, no vemos que diga este, el peso ni eh, el size. El código, sí, nosotros sí. inventamos el código. Ah, perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Pero donde es el size, que es el peso, por unidades no se ve en el primer producto de, de Toffee. Y el, por los whites, lo que es el, la talla y lo que es el peso, no. Whites y size. Ni la cantidad tampoco. O sea, no, el precio dice Ajá. que es 7.50, pero no dice si es por unidad o por, o por. alguna cantidad Ajá. en específico. Remember that uh, you already have the size here. The size is uh, six. Six nice. units per box. Esa es la size de todos. De todo. Y el price is price per unit. Per unit, per unit, o sea, cada caja. ¿Cuánto vale cada caja? O sea, o sea, teacher, que todas son cajas por seis. Cajas de seis, exacto. Ah, es que como solo la segunda y la tercera tienen que ser. Y solo a esa cada... le han puesto. Pero, Ajá, si pero todas es que... igual. Sí, porque okay. si usted fija en el cuadrito, dice cajas de seis, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Todas serían cajas de seis. Independiente. Ah, de... Ahí sería, ahí sería, dicho, en eso sería, en los, ¿qué size? Size. Eh, sería one. Size oh. boxes of six units. Uh -huh. Size box on with on six units. Un. Ahí sería size. Sí. Siempre sería six, perdón. Six. 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 Siempre en sería, todas. Sí, en todas. Serían boxes of six sí. units. Entonces solo voy a poner chequecito. Uh -huh. Y de allí pueden ver este el costo. Si no se lo da, lo pueden inventar ustedes. ¿Verdad? Dependiendo del of the type of the chocolate that you have. Y el, el peso igual, solo le ponemos. Tendría que inventarse. Sí, porque no se lo dan, ¿verdad? No, tampoco. No ¿Cuál, le... teacher? El, 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 ¿Qué es peso? ¿Why? ¿Why? The size. Ahí te, no sé si. ¿Ah? The size. 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 No, the weight. The weight. The weight, lo que es peso. Sí. Ahí, ahí se inventara, teacher. Sí, porque no se lo dan, ¿verdad? La mayoría de veces no. ni dan casi. Sí, Ajá. Sí. Ah, ok. ¿Y eso sería el mismo peso para cada, para todos los productos? Sí, ¿O varía? Es que no, tendría que variar porque dependiendo del producto. Son diferentes. Ajá. Es diferente, ¿verdad? Sí. Aunque sea de la misma, aunque sea de la misma talla. Exacto, porque por ejemplo las almendras pesan. Uh -huh. Sí, las almendras pesan. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí vean, dependiendo de los ingredientes, pueden ver qué tanto pesa, aunque todos eh, lleven la misma cantidad, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Va, y el precio, el precio por unidad, dice caja por unidad, por caja. Ajá, la unidad sería la caja. Precio Va, por unidad. El precio que tiene arriba entonces. Ajá, exacto. Ah, ok. Precios sí todas tienen, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Sería, ahí sí le dan lo que es el precio per unit, price uh -huh. y per unit. Ahí sí, ahí sí, teacher. Sí. Ah, ahí está el precio. Okay. Que tiene. Sí. Con el código, teacher, con... Ahí, ahí me lo, ahí lo, ahí lo, lo inventamos. Sí, sí inventan, se lo ponen en los tan. Uh -huh. Sí, Ney. You can create it. El Ney es el producto, ¿verdad? Yes, ese es el, el, product. el que tiene arriba. 
Ajá, arriba. Chocolate with pecan. <coughs> and that would be this. By nipping your toffee, tortoise yeah. candy, chocolate covers, caramel. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Those would be the names. Toffling. Toffling. Mm. Okay. Thank. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. <clears throat> Ahí ustedes pueden balancear el 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 peso que mm. creen que puede tener dependiendo del de los ingredientes. Okay. Precio, precio por, precio por unidad. El box. Ese sí se lo dan, ¿verdad? Sí, el está box. arriba. Uh -huh. El primero sí. sería 750. Ajá. 7.50, price per unit. Seven, seven sí. Fifty. Seven, seven, fifty. Sixty. Fifty. seven sixty dólar, así. Sí, seven fifty. Seven sixty. Fifty. Ah, sixty, sixty, perdón. Excuse fifty. me. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Side, side. En los ingredientes solo se describe qué es lo que se ocupa, ¿verdad? Como ingredientes. Sí. The ones that Ay, they give ¿Qué es lo que in... le ponen? Yeah. The ingredients. Mm -hmm. Ajá, they give you all the ingredients there. Some of them have a lot of ingredients, right? For example, this first one. Entonces en el peso, en el wheat, yo lo dejé en blanco, ticha. ¿El qué? ¿Ah? El peso. Ajá. How no sé si se ve. How many mental. ounces? How many ounces do you think? How many ounces? Porque serían onzas, no libra. Mm -hmm. Onzas. Ese sería el peso. Sí, How many? En onzas. No dígame por onzas, six onzas. ¿Cuántas onzas creen que pesa su cajita? Y ese sería para todos, teacher. Sí. 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 Pero acuérdense que dependiendo de los ingredientes que, 
que lleva así va a pesar, ¿verdad? Uh, so you can calculate the ounces. Por ahí está Isaías también, Lupe y Jotua. Este es sufrimiento para los chocolate lovers. Sí, todos los días. Sí, todos los días estamos dando chocolate. Tendríamos que estar con la barra de chocolate lista. Solo ya pasa. Es la obligación tener un chocolate. Sí. A mí me trajeron chocolate uno de estos días. Sí. Creo que oyeron que estaba hablando de chocolate. Sí, es cierto. Me decían los chocolates, dije. Sí, de, de, de day before yesterday. Because they listen to me talking about chocolate. Go chocolate. Que aquí en la casa son chocolate lovers. Chocolate lovers. Been really nice, very bonito. Mm. Okay, only oh, that's a very easy cause, only the number. <laughs> okay, I like it. And the ways, okay. Ah, I see, I see. So each, each box of chocolate has the same quantity, but the chocolate are of a different size. Interesting. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. We see the, the, the picture in internet t-shirt. Okay. And now we will all run to buy chocolate. <laughs> we will be dreaming with chocolate tonight. I don't like a lot, teacher. You don't like chocolate? Ah, oh, really? Yes. Okay. I do. I love chocolate. <laughs> when, when I'm stressed out because I have too many things to do, I chocolate more. <sighs> But, but the dark chocolate or or chocolate with uh, almond or I like kind of chocolate? dark chocolate. I like chocolate with peanuts. Oh, okay. oh. And with chili? Do you taste? With, no, with, with chili. chili. With chili, no. I love the chocolate with orange, but the Lins chocolate, the, the specific brand, Lins. Lins. Yes. Where do you buy it? Uh, in Simán, and I saw in in in, in Super Selectos. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a it's a German brand. I I know in German, but it's it's good. And she and they buy chocolate with salt. It's mm -hmm. de, it's delicious. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. I, I, I like chocolate with almonds and chocolate with peanuts. Also, there is a, <coughs> a clam, no, what's this? <coughs> Some berries uh, covered with chocolate. <coughs> and I like them too. The white chocolate? No. That is milk, no? White chocolate is not chocolate. It's milk. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. If there's milk and sugar. 
Yes. <clears throat> so that one, mm -mm. definitely mm, no. Not in my list. Okay. Not in my list of chocolate. The one I prefer is dark chocolate. But chocolate with milk, hmm, it's a set. But mm, no white chocolate. That, that one definitely not. No. Okay. <laughs> I prefer not to eat <laughs> not to eat chocolate because that's not chocolate really. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. No, no. I like her cheese. Yeah. Los kisses too. <laughs> right. Mm. That that's why we don't buy too much because if we buy chocolate in my house, we eat it. But very, very, it doesn't last much. I remember there was a, I don't know, it was last, the year before last, we went to Price Mart and they had the books in, on sale. And we bought a very big box that one of my daughters doesn't like chocolate. And I told her, by okay, so you are the one in charge of taking care of this chocolate and you are going to give us chocolate because if we have it in our hands <laughs> we will eat it too fast so yeah she kept it and whenever we say i want to eat chocolate she gave us three <laughs> <laughs> she gave us three and then she's and we will say like oh i want more by one more no more and that lasted about two weeks. <laughs> but it was a very big box. And that's why I said no, we don't buy it much because if we buy a big a bar of chocolate, we eat it in, in just a set, right? It only tastes a piece only, or maybe two, but. But not much. No. no. Yeah, I remember a couple of years ago when I was at the university, uh, there, used to, there was a teacher where I worked that used to sell chocolate. Mm, and when I was in evaluations, I always said, give me a dollar of chocolate. And I, I was studying and eating chocolate. And I ate like, in fact, get for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Every time I was in exams and I was studying or that I had a lot of homework to do and I felt like kind of stressed, I ate chocolate and that really helped. That, mm, mm -hmm. so that's, and the chocolate, when you drink chocolate, no, the, the, the artisan chocolate. chocolate. It yes. depends. It depends. Because in some places, that chocolate is too greasy or too sweet. Mm -hmm. So, no, no. Uh, for example, here where I uh, we go sometimes to a it's like a mini restaurant, right? To it, they make chocolate, but it's no ralito, right? It's 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 a good chocolate, but it's not greasy. That at, sometimes I don't know if they add something else to the chocolate. It's not natural. It's like mm -hmm. if they add, uh, I don't know, oil or manteca or something. It's the, it is the, the preparation. My mother-in-law do the best chocolate. For me, it's the best. And that, and that's the thing. When, when people prepare the chocolate, and they prepare just pure chocolate, it is good. But when they are trying to make it get more and they add other things, that becomes a bad condition. Yes. Well, I'm leaving because somebody's calling me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Tell me, do you have a question? Not no, no question. 
A ver, pues, vámonos ya. Allá estábamos hablando de chocolate. Let's okay. go. Ay, no, más de chocolate. Y cabal a llamarlos, a cerrarlos, sí, va cuando me llamaron. Vámonos. Ok. <clears throat> nice. A ver, ¿quiénes nos faltan? Present me. <laughs> ¿Quiénes nos faltan? Present, present, present. Ok. I just want to see one chart. And then we go for the attendance. Yes, one, one, one. Who will be my volunteer? One. One, 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 one. Según que estoy ladrando, vean. One, one. ¿Quién va a ser mi volunteer? Solo uno quiero. Uno, 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 uno. A ver, el último grupo que se ve. Eh, Karen. Ay, teacher. Este, no lo copié, pero mi compañero no sé si lo puede compartir y yo se lo. A ver, a ver. ¿Quién estaba compartiendo? Eh, Daniel. Daniel, Daniel. Yes, teacher, ahorita, permítame. Ahí está. Ok. Miren qué bonito les quedó. I was telling them that it was very practical, the, the code, <laughs> yes, the number. Another group that I was checking in this Enrique, the code was with the initials of the, the product. That's another very good idea. Yes, miss. Mm -hmm. So you may have only numbers, so you can use also the initials of the name of the product to create your code. Yes. See the specifications. Uh, I don't know, Karen, who can explain the chart quickly? Okay, teacher. Uh, the name and spicy peanut toffee, the code one, the size six. Uh, okay. Six, mm -hmm. is correct? Yeah. Okay. Ingredients, butter toffee, roast peanut, and cheyenne chili pepper. The weight is 15 grams, and the price per unit is $7.15. The second is total candies, the code is two, the size is six plus 20, the ingredients rich, rich uh, buttered caramel, fresh roasted pecan, dark or milk chocolate. The weight 408 grams. The price The third is chocolate covered caramel. The code number three. The size four plus twelve. The ingredient chocolate and caramel. The weight is 130 grams. The price seven dollars. And the last one, the chocolate dipped nougat. The code number four, the size is six plus 15. The ingredients of honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. The weight is 200 grams and the price 70. Okay, very good. Which type of this oh, oh, chocolate will be your favorite? Which would you prefer? Which would you which type of chocolate would you prefer to eat? I like to miss and uh, the spice peanut toffee and chocolate dipped nougat. Okay, okay, okay. So you like chocolate with chili? Chili chocolate? Yes, miss. Okay. Like the tamarindo with chili. Oh, it's very rich. <laughs> Very delicious. Okay. Okay, it's, it's correct. Very delicious. Yeah. Very, very good. Tamarindo with chili. 
<laughs> but sometimes it's very, very hot. Decimos hot cuando hablamos de algo que es picante. Uy, no. Especialmente cuando hablamos de comida. Si le ofrecen a usted que si quiere la comida hot y usted anda allá por México, diga que no. Porque si usted dice sí, le van a dar algo súper chiloso. No me lo va a poder comer. <ríe> bueno, vámonos pues a la last attendance. Let's see. Eh, Carlos Alfredo. Present teacher. Thanks, Carlos Alfredo. Cecilia. Present, Miss. Clarixa. Present teacher. Present. Nice. Daniel. Present teacher. Erika. Erika. Present teacher. Isaías. Present. Iván. Present teacher. Nice. Yvette. Present. Jonathan. Present teacher. Jorge. Present teacher. Juan Antonio. Present. Karen. Present teacher. Luis Enrique. Present, Miss. Manuel. Present, Miss. Tosi. Present teacher. Sandra. Present. Silvia. Present teacher. Es Silvia Estela, ¿verdad? Silvine. Yes. Silvia Inglés. teacher. Hoy robotito Silvia Aquí está la <ríe> Es que la, la oí ¿Sí? Como robotito Vaya, ahí está, muy bien Muy bien, muy bien Thank you Thank you, thank you Hoy se queda nada. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. 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 Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Take care. Take care. Take care. Sleep.